morning dusk, welcome to Realm of the Sacred Roots. Well, today I wanted to jump right in and talk to you about protection and strategies for protection, keeping your spiritual defenses strong. Why do most attacks happen when we're asleep? Because our defenses are down. Why are some people afraid to astral travel? They're afraid to leave their body unprotected. Why do, do some people, when they curse, look for a weak spot in somebody and then attack when that person is most vulnerable? These are all having to do with protection and working on strategies for protection will help you guard yourself even better. Usually, if you're arguing with a significant other, with a mother or mother-in-law or a friend, those type of emotions, um, you're angry or you get sad, these type of emotions can actually bring down your defenses and it allows lower level entities um, to, um, to break that shield that you have. It actually invites them in and they seek out beings who have these um, emotions. So you want to try to stay clear, even though that's hard to do because we live in a very real world and we're likely to be upset at the person who just cut us off or um, upset at a neighbor who's done something or somebody at work. It's just human nature. And these are things that happen. And sometimes we can't do anything about it. But the key is it's okay to feel those emotions and to process those emotions. Just don't stay in that place of despair. Don't stay in that place of anger, which will take root inside of you and bring down your defenses. So I wanted to talk about a few tips that I use um, because people will just, it's, it's just going to happen. And how do you stay on top of the game and not let that completely affect your um, emotions and your being? Uh, one of the first tips I have is music. Music is amazing in the way that it transforms a room. It can transform uh, energy. And if you put some uplifting music on something that you enjoy listening to, it will actually change the atmosphere of where you're at and in turn uh, change what's going on within you. Music is simply magical. So I recommend giving that a try. Have your favorite tunes loaded up. And if something happens, Put it on, sing to the music, clap, um, do a dance if you're at home. Uh, it works, definitely. Give music a try. It will shift the atmosphere you're in and rid you at that moment of those angry feelings or the sad feelings that you have. Salt baths and candles are always great. Um, one, just for cleansing of the body, but uh, two, it actually works with the senses, with the candles. It's the same with smudging and incense. Just when I smell that sage, it does something to me. It changes something within me. And it's just so powerful and cleansing. I literally just sit there in the smoke and bathe in that. It literally just shifts something. And it's an amazing feeling. And I appreciate each of these things that I'm mentioning for their own, its own power, whether it's the candles, the salt. I appreciate the earth from where it came from. So think on those things, meditate on those things while you're enjoying your bath, listening to your music. Um, put the incense in there, start burning your favorite incense. It does work. Uh, meditation and also speaking to your spirit guides or your ancestors speaking uh, to those spirits, get your mind off of your current situation and it actually will help you um, change your mindset from where you're currently at, whether it's this despair, whether it's this anger. Try to meditate. If you can't clear your mind, 
start talking and it will make a difference in um in in what where you're at at the moment and you can also try uh, to do something that you enjoy whether it's being outside being in the garden uh, any anything that will um that will something that will you will enjoy doing feel free to do whether it's shopping it could be anything but again you're trying to pull yourself up out of that situation and put it in your mind and your body and your spirit into a different situation, one that's healthy, one that's positive for you. And then helping others that are less fortunate. When we're around other people who might have a sickness or might need help with groceries, might need help with um, anything in their house, uh, try to help someone else because they say that someone has it worse than you, uh, whether it's true or not, but most likely there's someone out there that has it worse than you. Try to help others. It will t take your mind off of your current situation by giving, by helping, um, and anything, whether it's helping an old lady cross the street, but do something for someone else. And these work. If you actually remember and test it out on your next on the next try when something really pisses you off or give it a try whether you're in traffic or at home it these bullets these items work I do this and it shifts my mind it doesn't mean the problem has disappeared but it does mean that I haven't allowed that situation to conquer me to conquer my mind this is a mind game. This, this is um, a battle that goes on in your mind and you have to shift. You have to make a way um, where it seems to be no way, right? So that's what these um, items will do. They, they will help you change from where you were at to a new perspective. And changing perspective has um, an amazing effect on how you see your current situation. And you can press on, you can move on and try to overcome that situation by using these methods to keep yourself strong, not letting anything enter. You sometimes wonder why it seems like one bad thing starts to happen after another and it starts to just do this domino effect in your life. And people wonder what that is. Sometimes the first thing hits your field, it hits you and it knocks you down. And some people allow themselves to stay in that oppressed situation, which allows other entities, allows other things to happen to you and it starts to snowball. So try to pull yourself out of a situation, even if you have to talk to somebody, whatever you can do, um, whatever you can do to help yourself, try. Sometimes you need help. Sometimes you need someone to talk to and sometimes it needs medication. I'm all for that, um, absolutely. Whatever tools you need but keeping your defenses up will prevent other things from coming in and making a bad situation worse. Take my word for it. I might make this into a series because I have a lot to talk about regarding protection. This was just uh, on my mind today and I, um, I wanted to share this with you. Well, happy new year's to everyone. Let's make this new year's a positive one and one of um of enjoyment and blessings please like and subscribe if you haven't already that way you'll stay up to date with all of my new videos thank you